Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. Using the National Mahjong League card, the rules have been modified from a four-player game. If you want to know more about playing this version, look for links in the video description below. One of the hardest things for people new to the game is scoring. It is a little complex. So in this video, we're going to practice. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. These are hands from a game played at Siamese Mahjong. This is my rack and this is my opponent's rack. At the beginning of the fourth wall, we're in the end game. There was an eight already out and I drew, let's see, I think I drew a joker. So I decided to declare this hand. I think I wished I hadn't because anytime you declare Mahjong, the jokers are locked in. I think I wished I had access to the joker for this hand later, but I went ahead and declared Mahjong. Also in the end game, you never know when your opponent is going to declare Mahjong. And at the time, they didn't have a hand exposed. So after this hand, this player declared Mahjong here on this hand. So we have two 25 point hands. I actually think this hand should be a 30 point hand. Is this a 30 point hand? There's one, two, three pair. Anytime there's a hand with three pair, it's usually 30 points, but I'll show you in the captions. So we have a one hand declared here, one hand declared here, and about maybe six or seven picks from the end of the wall, I picked a joker for this hand here. So we have a staggered win and one declared mahjong. Score this. So this player has a 25 point hand. This hand is incomplete, so they don't get value there. This hand is a 25 point hand. And this hand, because it's the second winning hand, w was double value. So even though this is a 25 point hand, it's a 50 point hand because I won both. So this is 50 points and 25 points for 75 points. Since this player had a 25 point hand, they would get credit for that. So in the game, they got 25 points and this player, me, got 75 points. In an in-person game, this person would deduct 25 points so they would end up paying 50 points. You can always find the scoring on the website at SiamesMahjong.com. If you happen to be playing in a place where there's no internet, you might want to download the rules and keep them locally on your phone and reference them using your phone or maybe print them out and keep them with your set. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers. Thank you.